All right, what we're looking at today are linear and angular speed or velocity. Linear is what we've talked about before, just a straight line, miles per hour, or meters per second, or feet per decade, whatever you want to make it. Angular velocity is more like a rotational velocity. So how many times around the circle, how fast are you rotating is more of what it is. And this is always going to be in radians per something, radians per minute, radians per second. So to show you how this is going to be done, we have an example, you have it in your notes at home. Um, all we have was a bike tire that was six inches for a radius, and <clears throat> it was going at 20 revolutions per minute. Now, this is the steps that we want to take. First things first is to mention and write down what we start with, which was 20 revolutions per minute. The other is next to figure out what do we not know, or what do we need it to become. They want to know for part A, the linear speed in feet per minute. So your goal is to try to get revolutions to switch to feet, and for minutes to switch to, well, minutes. This one's already in good shape. We already have minutes to minutes. So I don't worry, I have to worry about that, just the revolutions. So what I should be doing, revolutions come in two parts. Uh, we talked, okay, so this was step one we talked, this was step two we talked. Step three is to look at circumference. A circumference is one time around the circle, one revolution in total. So that's the same as saying two pi times the radius. Well, in this case, the radius is six inches. So my circumference is 12 pi, and my unit is whatever was given to me, inches, 12 pi inches. That's what it takes for one revolution. So I'm gonna make a conversion of one revolution is the same as 12 pi inches. Now, right now my unit is inches per minute, but I don't want that, I want feet per minute. So to fix that up, to change inches into feet, it's just 12 inches for every one foot. So then you do your multiplication straight across and you should get us an answer 20 pi feet per minute. Now for part B, this is where we want to look at our last step, step four, or fourth thing that we should be looking at which is always true. One revolution in terms of radians, that's one time around the circle, is exactly, excuse me, is always exactly two pi radians. So, again, we're gonna start in the same spot. We're gonna go with 20 revs per minute, and I need to get this now to be radians per second. And the way I'm gonna do that is with exactly this conversion here we have written in number four. One revolution, is always, always, always equal to 2 pi radians. So then I can go and multiply out and I should get an answer of 2 pi over 3 uh, radians. Now, here's the thing. What were my units? I'm glad I made, see, I make mistakes as often as you do. My units right now would be radians per minute. If it was radians per minute, it would be 40 pi radians per minute. We're not done yet. We need to change this per minute make it per second. So to do that, I need to make another conversion. I need to know that one minute is the same as 60 seconds. Now I can check and see, well, my, <coughs> excuse me, my minutes should cancel out. Now I have units of radians per second, which is what I want. Now I can multiply straight across. It would have been 40 pi divided by 60, which can reduce to be two pi over three. So follow these steps. Step one, write what you know. Step two, write the units you need to get it in. Step three, figure out your circumference, because that is what one revolution is, is just the circumference. And then the last part, always figure out for radians, if we need to go angular velocity, that one rev is always just two pi radians.